Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab announced this Monday that the lockdown will continue. People across the West Midlands are now adapting to life under the new measures designed to fight the COVID-19 pandemic and ease pressure on the NHS. This Tuesday, West Midlands Live visited Solihull to see the effects on this usually bustling town centre. The lockdown makes every day in the town feel like 7pm on a Sunday evening. Most shops are shuttered with just a handful of essential businesses remaining open. Just a handful of people are out and about carefully zigzagging zagging each other to avoid one another as people take social distancing rules seriously. These scenes, which are repeated across the West Midlands, will continue for the foreseeable future, with reports emerging that ministers have been told to drop discussing any exit strategy as the peak in deaths is still yet to come. There are of course concerns regarding the economy with more people being furloughed and unemployment levels rising. One industry that's been particularly hit badly is hospitality. Besides takeaway options, all pubs and restaurants look set to stay closed for the foreseeable future. This leaves pub owners with a considerable problem. Some 50 million pints of lager and ale are expected to go unused if venues remain closed. Tom Stainer, the chief exec for the Campaign for Real Ale, spoke on this issue, saying it's a sad waste for all the work and talent that goes into producing great beer. People won't get to drink it and all those resources have been used up for nothing. Real ales have a shelf life of six to nine weeks, with most lagers lasting at around three months. Well, that's your tour of Solihull for today. How are you coping with the lockdown? We'd love to hear your feedback. Get in touch. It's super easy. Just search at Beham Local TV on social media. And as always, of course, stay safe. Stay safe.